Greetings, and welcome to episode 52. In today's episode, we'll be discussing getting it. And what I mean by that is, people say, he doesn't get it, or she doesn't get it. That's what I want to discuss. Because most people that say something like that are the ones that don't get it. <laughs> so if we're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, do you get it? <laughs> I hear that a lot. Well, you just don't get it. <laughs> Been hearing it for years, actually. Well, you just don't get it. It's not that I don't get it. And I can, I can assume that it's not that you don't get it. But when I have made the decision to do something or not to do something, it really doesn't matter if you understand what I'm about. Likewise, it doesn't matter if I understand what you're about. That it's my responsibility to ask if there's a misunderstanding there. But I live my life a certain way. And people don't understand that, but they don't ask, what is your thought process? They just say, well, you don't get it. Oh, I get it. I just refuse to play that game. You know, I see the game you're trying to play, or that is being played, and they think, well, you're not participating. You don't get it. No, I get it. I see it. I just am not participating. I choose to not participate. That's how you live. So I get it. You don't get it. You don't get that I see what's going on. And why am I going to throw myself into this situation and then bemoan my situation later? If I see what's going on, I can avoid it. That's the whole point of paying attention. <laughs> So I get it. I am not participating by choice, not because I'm ignorant of the situation. It's because it is my decision to choose whether to participate, and I'm choosing not to participate. Making the assumption... No, uh, let me rephrase this before I even say it. Assuming I am ignorant of the situation assumes that I participate in life the same way you do. We are not all alike and we do not make the same decisions. You may not have ever met anyone or maybe you've met people that are few and far between that actually have integrity but I'm one of those people I get it I'm just not going to participate I don't do head games I don't do letting you run around pretending to be me and I'm not gonna run around pretending to be you on the inside or the outside I carry the weight of my own life I'm never gonna ask anybody to carry my life on the inside or the outside. If I've done something foolish and get called out on it, well then I'm just going to own up to it. Because it's nobody else's responsibility. And to blame it on someone else, isn't that lying? Even if it's on the inside? Bearing false witness? So yeah, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to tell the truth one way or the other. And then you would ask the question, well, why do you refuse to participate? Well, see, nobody's ever asked me that question. They just say, well, you just don't get it, and they walk off. Or the, the subject gets dropped. You just don't get it. If someone were to ask me, well, why don't you want to participate? 
why? Why am I going to put myself in that position? For you? I wouldn't put myself in that position for my wife or my mother. And what you're doing now is asking for a better deal than my own mother and wife get. <laughs> I get it. I just refuse to participate. And why someone that is not a family member is trying to get a better deal than my own wife, that's ludicrous. I don't care what you think your position in my life is, whether it's assumed or whether you really do hold that position in my life. Uh, no, I get it. Just the answer is no. This is my life to live the way I see fit. You don't get to come into my life and bark orders. That just doesn't work. And it's not going to be permitted. So I get it. The answer is just no. <laughs> Did you not understand the question? Yeah, I understood the question. The answer is just no. Walk this way with us. No. Huh. I'm already headed in a particular direction. And I'm going to keep to this heading. And I'm going to keep heading in my direction. I don't need any sort of protection from you. There's nothing you can offer me to get me to deviate from my path. Not one thing. Nothing. And if that means we have to cut ties, so be it. Cut the tie. But don't come back later and try and reestablish it. You get one shot with me. Everybody gets one shot with me. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And once you show yourself to be worthless, <laughs> of little value to me, I there's nothing I can do for you. Obviously, it's not about the money, because I've turned down more money to maintain my path I have I've taken a pay cut a huge pay cut from what I was doing to what I'm doing now just to maintain my path and now even down here at this level they still try and say hey why don't you change your heading and come this way a little bit no if I wouldn't do it for better than twice what I'm making now why am I going to do it for this miserable pittance That goes along with sticking to your guns and having integrity. I get it. I'm just not going to play that game. I'm not going to participate. I get it. Stop pretending that I don't get it. I get it. And I'm sure that you've all been through this where people are like, well, you just don't get it. And you're thinking, yeah, I get it. I just, what? It's this craziness. I'm not going to participate in that. <laughs> How do you deal with it? You don't deal with it. That's the whole point. I'm not going to deal with that. <laughs> so anyone that's, that's thinking, well, how would you deal with that situation? That's the whole point. I'm not going to deal with that situation. I'm, I'm not. I refuse to participate. And that's where it comes in. Well, you just don't get it. You won't acknowledge this. No, I'm not going to acknowledge it. If I acknowledge it, I give it power. And I give it power over me. No, I refuse to participate. There's nothing I gain through participation. Will you show that you're loyal and trustworthy? Loyal and trustworthy? I'm loyal and trustworthy. I just refuse to play that game. If you were loyal and trustworthy, you'd lie. But then I would no longer be trustworthy, would I? I'd just be loyal. And I am loyal. I'm just not loyal to you. <laughs> if you haven't borne my children, 
or born me as your child, then you're not going to get that level of loyalty. You're going to get the level of loyalty you're paying me for, or whatever I'm getting out of the situation. The payment isn't always monetary. And let's face it, we don't enter into a situation unless it benefits us in some way, shape, or form. Sometimes the benefit is just knowing we just did a good deed. But not all situations are about good deeds. And your active participation makes you complicit in whatever situation is going on. So you bear the burden of whatever negative outcome. Sure, you, you also bear the burden of the positive outcome, which is not necessarily a burden, but more times than not there's a greater negative component that you have to deal with than there is a positive component or you wouldn't be getting approached in the manner where they think you don't get it you would have just okay that sounds cool <laughs> that's how I would do it if it sounds cool it sounds cool and I'm in I can see clearly my ben the benefits that I'm going to get out of it, whether it just be that warm, squishy feeling or what have you, money, a favor, maybe a favor down the road. But mm, there, when it comes to you trying to get me to rearrange my entire life for your benefit, there's no benefit in it for me. There's absolutely no payoff for me. Why in the fuck would I do that? <laughs> you show me where I benefit and benefit greatly, and we'll discuss it. Otherwise, what do you want from me? I mean, honestly, what do you want from me? Because it seems like you're trying to get a particular item. That I wasn't even offering. And then trying to get me to play along by saying, well, you don't get it. Because sometimes, and a lot of people... with a particular mindset you tell them well they don't get it and their ego steps up we mean I don't get it I get it I get it yeah let's do it and they don't get it but they're gonna go do it <laughs> and it's probably uh, an aspect of reverse psychology which yeah I'm looking at it I don't see any type of benefit I would gain from relinquishing control of my life. I benefit not at all. Why would I be complicit in that? Well, you don't get it. Oh, I get it. I see what you're after. I'm just telling you no. <laughs> but you could have... No. <laughs> I turned down better than twice the money. Twice the money. To regain and maintain control of my life. You cannot come to me and show that I benefit not at all. And want the same thing that I turn, you know, you want the same thing for me that this other person or entity was trying to get <coughs> and offering less for it. <laughs> really? Well, you're not, you're just not seeing the benefit. There's no benefit. I don't benefit at all. At all. Well, you, you got to have friends. 
which requires the assumption that I don't already have friends. of similar or greater caliber. I can get where I'm going just fine. I didn't ask you for that help. I didn't ask for your protection. I'm not paying you for a service you're volunteering. You volunteer a service. That's free. Volunteer work has always been free. You can't volunteer a service and say, well, you know, I helped you out. I didn't ask you for shit. Back the fuck away. Matter of fact, I asked you to leave and you wouldn't. <laughs> well, you don't get it. No, I get it. I'm just not going to participate. <laughs> it's all head games and bullshit and I'm not into it. I'm not into it. Not into it. That's one of the reasons why I've been so reluctant to start anything. I've had so many ideas to start a business. <clears throat> and then I see what it takes to keep it going. Getting it up and running is easy. Keeping it going and making it successful is a completely different monster. Because now you're no longer even dealing with your project. You're dealing with everybody else that wants a piece of your project. in their various little ways. You get your permits and, and this and that. <laughs> and by the time you're done dealing with them, you don't even want to do your project anymore. At least I wouldn't. It would kill it. It would kill it. Right out the door. But you would have your thing. I don't need you to have my thing. You're just trying to convince me I need you to have my thing. And I certainly don't need you to have the exact same life I've had for 40 years. Somehow you're telling me that I cannot continue as a human being without you. Sounds kind of like bullshit. I, that's what it sounds like. Because uh, I've been doing this for 40 years. I've known you for a short time, shorter than 40 years, obviously. And you somehow assume that in 40 years I've never come across these types of situations before. How do you think I know to avoid them? Because I've already been through it. I've, I've steered my ship, changed my heading, and it didn't benefit me at all. Or, or, should I say, it didn't benefit me enough to maintain that course, so I got back onto my original course. See, the payoff of having integrity is immediate. I have integrity. The reward of having integrity is more integrity. Just like the reward of patience is patience. The more patient you are, the more patient you can be. The more integrity you have, the more integrity you have. Every time you stand your ground, you get a little bit stronger. It's just like it's resistance. It's every time, like lifting weights. Every time you bring that weight up, you get a little bit stronger and a little bit stronger. And yes, it's incremental, but you stick with it long enough and before you know it you've got one of those muscle bound bodies <laughs> that's the way integrity works that's the way patience works and yes you have to train these things because you might be used to going where the wind blows I'm not used to going where the wind blows I'm used to maintaining a fixed heading and it's going, you're going to be pulling teeth to get me to change my heading. You can't throw money at me. You don't have the kind of money it would take to throw at me to get me to change my heading. You just, you don't have that kind of money. I know you don't have that kind of money. Because if you had that kind of money, you wouldn't be coming at me. <laughs> You'd be off doing other things. So I get it. 
You want me to be part of whatever you've got going on for whatever reason. I'm just saying no. I get it. I'm just saying no. <laughs> I, I have to assume that everybody's been in this position that I'm in. That somebody's trying to get you involved in something and and you see what it is but you're like no, no thanks but they assume or they try to use that as a point to get you to change your mind like reverse psychology oh you you don't get it let me explain it again <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm gonna smear shit all over your face and clothes and then we're gonna walk down the street and I'm gonna point at you how do I benefit from that oh, no no you don't get it. No. How do I benefit from that, really? Explain to me how I benefit from that. <laughs> I won't be upending my life or changing it in any way, shape, or form. I've made the appropriate changes to maintain what I do in my life because my life comes first. Anything else is just how you, either it's how I pay for my life, how I maintain my life, i.e. shopping, running errands, or it's adding myself to somebody else's life, like going out and visiting, or having someone come to my house and visit. But as it concerns who I am as a person and how I live my life, that's never going to change. My own wife couldn't get me to change it. Why would I change it for someone that has lower standing than my wife? No one will ever have higher standing in my life than my wife. Well, you don't get it. Oh, I get it. The things that, here's the thing. This is what separates us, and this is the, the point of contention. The things you hold as important in your life, I do not hold as important in my life. So you are the one that doesn't get it. Or should I say they are the ones that don't get it. Because they can't fathom that you're not going to do it this way. Why would I do it that way? I don't hold that as important. I hold this as important. And I'm going to stick to this. Because it's worked for 40 years. <laughs> Forty years it's worked for me. And every time I've deviated from that path, it has failed. So if I can't get something that goes along the path and allows me to stick to the path, I have to say no. I have to decline. I have to not participate. <coughs> Because anything that help, makes me to deviate from the path isn't worth it at all. Not even a little. So I get it. I'm just saying no. I'm not participating. And I, I hope that you watching this video and it's given you a little bit of courage to make a better decision than maybe you were going to make or maybe you can rectify a bad decision you've made, get back on course. Because I don't know how it feels for you, but when I deviate from the path, when I get off course, I can feel it. It doesn't feel very good. My mother-in-law was here for a week and a half. And I didn't make a video the entire time. And to me, that felt like I was deviating from the path. And it, and it felt dirty. Just because I wasn't making my videos. That's the only thing I changed. Because now that I've been doing these videos for a few months, it's become part of me. It's become part of what I do. It's become part of my path. And that's probably that's probably why I won't monetize because not monetizing doing these videos for free that's also part of my path. 
this information should be getting getting out for free people need to understand that not just oh yeah these spiritual techniques sure but how about me just conveying to you that I've been there you know and I understand I've been the guy that someone said you don't get it I've been the guy that had to decide whether to deviate from the path and, and maybe chase some money I've been that guy and I'm telling you that if you don't chase the money you'll figure it out you'll live you'll figure a way to get through that moment without that money if chasing that money causes you to deviate from your path I would say fall back on integrity and say no well you don't get it I get it I just value my path more than I value your little scheme there I don't hold the same things in high regard that you do and I have no intention of changing that ever I'm already 40 years old. Now, a, a 20 year old saying that, I would be a little skeptical. Like, you're 20 years old. What have you seen of the world? But I'm not 20 years old. I'm 40. I'm like halfway to the goal. <laughs> and you expect me to turn back now? Money cannot be that important. It can't. Like I said before, money may not be the root of all evil, but it certainly is used as the fuel. Doesn't make it good or bad. Fuel can be used for good or bad. You could have it fuel the root of all good, but humans are for some reason are incapable of thinking that way. <clears throat> it's like money is considered dirty, and they, they do. It's like they do that on purpose. They put this evil, dirty stigma on money, so that only the greedy, super greedy, will go after it. Maybe it's done on purpose, but it. I just need people to understand that you're not alone we all go through this or some of us what do you do when it tears at you I, I don't let it tear at me I don't even deal with it keep going now they're gonna tear at you but the decision isn't it's not even a decision it's just automatic no oh schemes to get me off course no thanks or you don't get it oh I get it <laughs> no thanks you don't get it see they don't understand why how can you not hold money or these schemes in high regard and my thinking is how can you be so fail at life that you don't see the damage you're doing to yourself and you want me complicit in that and I can't help you I can't and one thing I learned a long time ago is being self being spiritual is probably the single most selfish act I've ever performed and it's an ongoing performance of that act think on it selfish I won't deviate from my path <laughs> I am only gonna do the things that benefit my journey that benefit my journey I'm not gonna do anything that could bring me down selfish the single most selfish act you can perform is to be spiritual and stick to it or be anything and stick to it Think about that for a minute. Because once you have integrity, sticking to your guns is selfish. Because people want things from you, and they'll say, but if you have compassion, you'd share, you'd give. 
But if I share and give, I no longer have integrity. I'm no longer sticking to my guns. It's saying that if the situation is right, I'll bend with the wind. There is no proper situation for you to give up on your life or your path. Not one. But, uh, yeah. I'm getting on to the 30 minute mark. So I'm going to go ahead and call it. I hope you all get it. <laughs> and I hope you all get that you're not alone in your trials and tribulations. That we all go through that. This is just me explaining how I just don't suffer it. I just choose not to suffer it. The decision is made. The decision was made years ago. And I just refuse to undo that decision. I get it. The answer is just no. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> if you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button. You can favorite it if you want. And if you'd like to keep coming back and getting more information, or you just like the sound of my voice, <laughs> go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there. <laughs>